how's it going? So welcome to you, Prima Ed. So today we're going to continue with our paper for 2010. Okay. So uh, it says uh, it's given that s equal to ut uh, minus half g t squared. If you're doing physics, then you probably know it. This is uh, uh, the displacement time uh, equation. Okay. Based on um, Newton's um, laws. Okay. So. Um, uh, here you're asked to find the value so we're going to do simple substitution uh, for these values and then you're also asked to uh, make g the subject of the of the formula so there's the other part we are asked to to make g the subject of the formula so what i'm going to do is we're going to blur out this part because we, we don't need it so we're going to black it out like this and then we're going to uh, use the space so it says that it is, it is given that s equal to this part so Whenever you're substituting, my best advice is use brackets for, for everything, okay? So S is equal to U, which is equal to 20. Then multiply by T, which is equal to 2. No need to repeat this and since you actually have it there, okay? So 2 minus, then half here. Then G, which is 9.8. Then T, which is 2 squared, okay? So here, uh, if you want, there's no need for you to actually work this out. You can actually just punch it in a calculator and then get the answer, okay? So it should still be fine. So the, you say 20, then you open bracket. Then you say by 2. Then you say minus. On a, on a half, you can actually put 0 0.5 there. And then you put uh, 9.8 in brackets. Then you put 2. Then you close the bracket. Then you say squared. It should get 20.4 okay so this is what you get so no need to to work it out um, manually you actually have your calculator with you so just do this on the uh, second part you asked to make g the subject of the formula okay so i'm actually going to wipe out everything here so for this one you asked to make g the subject of the formula so here you have s equal to uh, ut minus half g t squared. Simply means a rescue operation, okay? So change of subject, it's a rescue operation. Rescue g simply means have g on one side and um, g should be alone, okay? So we're going to take this and then put to this side. So you get half g t squared equal to, then ut here, this part. Then this one, we're going to transpose it to the left-hand side. So we just accomplished uh, two steps in in just uh, uh we just accomplished two steps in uh just one step okay so we got this one to this part and we got this one to this part okay so uh we to, to this side so this one to the left hand side this one to the right hand side and then we got this you want g so here yeah, what you can do is to, to get rid of half to get rid of half you have to multiply by 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 two okay that's how you get rid of half the reasoning here is uh, simply that half it's a fraction so to get rid of a fraction you multiply by the reciprocal okay so you would be times two every, everything has to be h and every term okay so if it's a term then you have to multiply by by two here so you get g t squared equal to two u t then minus minus two s like this okay so here now you have to divide by by t squared divide by t squared okay so you actually get g equal to 2 ut minus 2s over t squared okay so this is not the only answer that's possible uh, you can also have um, this one separately so you can have g equal to this this one is correct okay so i advise you to actually stop here but some students would say, would notice that you can distribute this uh, denominator here. So it'd be 2 ut over t squared here minus 2s over t squared again. So you'd actually get uh, 2 u over t here. Because one of the t's on t squared would actually cancel. And then you get minus 2s over t squared like this. Okay, so this one is also acceptable. But I advise you to just go with this. This one is clean and uh, it's neat. So yeah, that's it. Let's let's move to the second part. Second part, we have this. So uh, we have this triangle here. 
and usually they explain everything to you so in the diagram a d e is a triangle uh, b is a point on a d so you're told this so they are essentially telling you uh, all this information that that is there okay so two is to is to a d a four is to is to one year it's still fine so um here you're asked to name the triangle which is similar to triangle a b c so uh, similar to this triangle here okay so the interesting thing is there are only two triangles there so you can you can never go wrong okay but sometimes it's often uh, really good to to know exactly how that is okay so how to prove that two triangles are similar so the triangles the triangle is obviously uh, a e d okay sometimes it can be told to write in corresponding uh, order okay so of the of the sides then it becomes a problem okay so this is how you go about it right now you're having this angle here so this angle is a shared angle uh, triangle a b c uses this shared angle and triangle a d e uses this shared angle okay so the ratio of the of the sides here the sides sandwiching the angle it's one is to two okay and the angle is the same is it the same for this one it's also the same because uh, the, the ratio of the sides sandwiching this angle, remember this side here, this whole side here, it's, it's actually equal to, equal to 10 units, okay? So from year to year, it's actually equal to 10 units, which are centimeters, obviously. And this one is it's equal to, it's equal to 5 units, which are uh, 5 centimeters, okay? So here, you can see that this ratio, 1 is 2, is to 2. So um, here, 2 over 2 over 4. In other words, 2 over 4, it's uh, simply go to 5, 5 over 5 over 10. These are the angles sandwiching the, the uh, uh, angle. These are the sides sandwiching the angle here. So obviously, if we want to know uh, the similar triangles, we actually have to go from this perspective here. The reason I'm fussy about this is I actually want to give you in corresponding order. Because sometimes you may be asked to give uh, in corresponding order. Okay, so uh, side A, side A is common for both. So you can actually write, go ahead and write side A there, okay? And uh, you can actually go ahead and write side A there. And then once you've uh, written side A, you now see, okay, this one is going to be, what is the, it's the lesser value. So this one is going to, this, it's five, so it's the lesser value. So this one is supposed to be E here, okay? So in other words, it's the, it's the uh, shorter side. So going to be b is the shorter side a b is the shorter side so for this big triangle as well a e must be the must be the uh following because e must be the following point why because it's also the shorter side then afterwards you can write d okay so a e d that's the that's the uh triangle is but that's the triangle which is similar to to triangle a b c then it says calculate the length of b c so calculate bc so to calculate bc you, you have to uh know so for example you have to know two corresponding sides so uh here for for big for big triangles so you can say uh triangle a e d which is the big triangle over triangle a b c is equal to okay so the ratio uh of of uh sides so you can you can you can uh not put you cannot you can choose not to put all this okay so the two you can choose two corresponding sides the shorter sides okay so a b over we said a b corresponds to to a e okay so a b over a e these are the two corresponding sides they equal to what do you want you want b c okay so you want b c you have to ascertain what BC corresponds to. So BC is the third side. It corresponds to the third side, which is eight in this case. Okay, remember we are just dealing with uh, the sandwich sides. So it's actually DE. Okay, so here AB, AB is equal to two, AE is equal to uh, five. Okay, so two, this one is um, five AE. Uh, BC, BC is equal to, that's what we're looking for. And then DE, DE is equal to 8. Okay. So if it's like this, then you can just uh, work it out using simple math. Okay. So BC, BC would be equal to 2 over 5 by, by 8. Yeah. 
So you'd actually get uh, this one would be, be 16 over 5. So 16 over 5 is 32 over 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 10. Okay, so which means uh, 3.2. Uh, 3.2 what? Centimeters. Okay. So that's it. This is uh, the length of of BC. BC is equal to what? 3.2 centimeters. So yeah, that's it. Uh, for this one, you cannot prove anything. So we have to just leave it like that. But essentially, this is how you go about uh, working the problem. Uh, this was fun. So I hope uh, you also got the correct answers uh, as I got. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. You both out. B, Y. Okay, so you have defined this. The reason we are doing this is so that we can derive simultaneous equations. Here we uh, are dealing with, with the case of uh, uh, two variables. There is one where uh, it's representing the correct answers and then there's also one where it's representing the wrong answers. Okay, there are 26 questions. So number of correct uh, answers and number of wrong answers must account for, for 26 since we have uh, 26 questions, okay? So it simply means x plus y equal to equal to 26. Okay, those are called word problems. And then the uh, on the next part, uh, each points uh, uh, eight points were given for for each correct answer. So correct answer would be this. So eight points were given for each correct answer. So eight by x plus then for for the for the uh, wrong answer, five points were were deducted. So if it's a uh, deduction, then we actually have to say minus. So minus five points for every uh, incorrect answer. So five by by y here, it's equal to it's equal to uh, uh, zero. Okay, so uh, this person got zero, and then you're asked to find the number of questions you got correct. So you actually want uh, you actually want x here. Okay, so what I would do is I would uh, say five y here equal to equal to eight x. Okay, so here you will just want x, you don't want to solve for everything. So 5y to the other side equal to equal to 8x. Once I have done this, what I can do is to go back to this one here and multiply by 5. So I can say equation 1. Then I say equation 1 by, by 5. You get this. 5x, sorry, you get 5x plus 5y equal to 26 by 5, uh, you get 130. The way that you do it is you say 26 over 2, then you get 13, then you just add a 0, okay? Multiplying by 5 is the same as dividing by 2 and then multiplying by 10. So this is what we get. So here, you can say 2. So you say from 2. So here, 5y, we already know. 5y is simply... 8x. So we're going to put 8x here. Is it got to 130 like this? So here you get 13. So 13x is equal to 130. X is equal to then you divide both sides by 130, you get 10. So therefore, Tamara got 10 questions correct. Okay, so yeah, that's that's just about it. And uh, if she got ten questions correct, let's see if this 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 actually works out. Okay, so you are revising, and then you just want to check out. So she got uh, ten questions correct. So she was getting five points for uh, she was getting eight points for each correct answer. Okay, so eight by by ten. Okay, so she was getting uh, eight points for for each correct answer, and then we got ten. Uh, point we, we got 10, 10 questions wrong right so you get 80 here. so in the in the uh, other questions so the other questions would be actually subtract 10 here then you get uh, 16 so she got 16 wrong so 16 by what she was getting uh, five points deducted then you get negative 80 here so negative 80 and negative 80 you actually get zero and that's why this answer is correct okay so these are some of the ways that you can do to you to uh, prove your answers so this is it thanks so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video make sure you like share and subscribe you both out mm -hmm.